Hello! How are my cutie cues doing today? Mm -hmm. I miss you so much. Today we are having some delicious crawfish, you guys. I got this from the new seafood place that I was telling you guys about. I'm super excited because now I can finally say I can have some official crawfish. I have my water here. I have my Eat With Q apple cider vinegar capsules that I'm going to go ahead and take. And today we are going to have a really good conversation. I'm super excited. I'm excited. I'm inspired. I just have so many different emotions going on right now. So, um, yes, this is spicy crawfish. Um, and it has their sauce on it. So I'm really excited to dig in. I'm hungry. I got two boiled eggs, three boiled eggs, some corn, potatoes, and crawfish, you guys. So I'm just gonna take a few bites of this. Mmm. Mmm. That is delicious. And it's supposed to be spicy, but I don't know, it's not spicy. But, um. You guys, I am so excited. Meek Mill came out with his documentary today. And I am so proud of him I am so inspired and I'm just motivated and I'm just so excited for his future um he recently got off probation and I'm just so happy for him so <clears throat> the documentary is called mm. Mm. That is good. I'm gonna get all that sauce on there. Mmm. Um. The documentary is called Free Me, and it pretty much just talks about his life being in the criminal justice system. Um, his life being in the criminal justice system at a young age, he was 19, and just pretty much how his whole life has been overcoming trials and tribulations, and that's one of the reasons why I really respect Meek and I really like him. I'm a huge fan of his. I went to his concert and I just believe in him so much because he's an overcomer. Mmm. Mmm. This sauce is really good, you guys. Mmm. It is a very honest documentary talking about the hardships of a black man in this country, how the criminal system is completely different for people of color. And I love the fact that they were just open and honest about it. 
They weren't pointing the fingers. They weren't acting like victims. They were just open, honest about the experiences. Um, it talked about how he got arrested at 19. And I want you guys to check this documentary out. Even if you don't like Meek Mill, I, I just believe that it has so much information that we all can learn and grow from. Yeah. Talked about how he was 19 years old and you know he's living in a terrible area where you feel like you have to protect yourself because there's so much crime and violence happening and that spice got in my throat. Um I mean he just lives in a crime infested neighborhood and it, it, it just he just talks about the trauma and the anxiety that you face when you are coming up in that type of environment talked about the crack epidemic in the 80s and he got his first weapon because someone came up to him and was like hey man I thought you you got killed. I'm so glad that you're alive, blah, blah, blah. And literally seconds after that guy came up to him, he got shot and killed. And that was very traumatic and just hard for him to see. So he decided to get his first gun. I'm not going to tell you guys the whole story because I really want you guys to watch it. But I really love how they just broke down the mindset that, that he's in throughout this whole process. They claim that he did, you know, once he got, once he was caught with a, with, once he got arrested that night where everything just happened, where he got into the criminal system, the officers were saying that he did this and did that and he pointed a gun at them and all types of crazy stuff, which was untrue. He had never been arrested before. He had never sold drugs before. And, you know, at this point, you're dealing with the police officer's word against yours. You know what I mean? You are a poor black kid. You have no money. Your family has no money. So you just pretty much have to take, take it as it comes. And that is, that is the reality of a lot of people in this country. Mm. This is really good, you guys. I'm so proud of him for telling his story. He got in the system at 19 years old. <clears throat> and just now getting out of probation. Just now getting off probation. 11 years later it's talking about the judge who had his case who was extremely hard on him for no reason just can't wait to put him in jail again and a lot of things that people don't understand is like you can go to jail so you go to jail and you're you're doing your time but once you get out of jail you were on parole and it talked about how people don't even know what happens once you get out of jail. You're still kind of like in a prison, even when you get out of, out of jail. Sorry guys, my camera died, so I don't even know where I was. But um, yeah, the documentary, you guys, is truly, truly, truly amazing. I have a new respect for Meek Mill now. I look at him totally different. I loved him before, but I really love him now. I admire his strength. Um, I'm so proud of him for speaking up for his rights and, you know, being a voice for people who who can't speak about this stuff. Um, his 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 uh, um, the judge that was, you know, dealing with him over the years. She just had so many issues with him. She wanted to be a celebrity. She wanted to be famous. She wanted to be a part of the industry and she was just doing the most like she had such a huge issue with him. Um, the one mistake it did talk about that he made in his career 
was how he spoke out against Drake. Now, at that time, Drake was the hottest artist out. You know, he was popping. And he made a mistake speaking out against someone that had power in numbers. Uh, someone who, you know, is, is loved and liked. And, you know, everybody was saying that he shouldn't have said that. And he's a liar. And he's all these terrible things. He got dragged. And just, just, it was just terrible. And sometimes, even if you're telling the truth, you know, about a situation, maybe Drake didn't write his music, but you just can't speak out. It's sad. It's not about the truth when it comes to popularity. And I just definitely understood where he was coming from with that. And the documentary is just, it's just so well done. It had lawyers, it had um, ex-cops that were crooked cops. It had judges, white people, black people talking, people from the hood, people from, you know, high places were in it. And I just love it. But despite all that he went through, he kept persevering. He kept making his music. They tried to knock him down 10 steps. He kept coming back. He was hungry. And he did not let that stop him. And I can respect that. I can respect that. I'm so proud. And just everything. Jay-Z with the prison reform and just being the voice for people who have no voice. This stuff happens all the time, all the time. And we don't hear about it. You guys, I am so, so inspired by that documentary. I am so inspired. I would love, love for you guys to support his documentary. We all can learn something from it. I've learned so many new things that I had no idea about. I mean, we're ignorant to a lot of things. And my eyes have been opened up. And one thing that I can really appreciate about Meek is he didn't just get out of jail and say, okay, well, whatever, I'm out of jail. I don't really care about anybody else. He is working to help people who are stuck in the system, who are stuck in jail for no reason, who've been treated unfairly. And I'm not sitting up here saying that People go to jail for nothing because people do commit crimes, of course. But the whole point that he's trying to raise is that there are thousands upon thousands of cases that are just like his in this country. People going to jail, serving time, you know, ridiculous time for little stuff. His judge sent him to jail for popping a willy and, you know, just, she was just the, she's the worst. Oh my gosh. She wanted to make his life a living hell. She wanted to make his life a living hell. But guess what? That's the thing about champions. You're not going to hold a champion down. You're not going to hold a person that's powerful in your mind down. It's not going to happen. You can try and do all that you want to do. And she abused her power. <clears throat> she wanted to break him. Mm. Sauce is good. 
she wanted to break him down to nothing and it didn't work because he already told himself that he was going to be successful he already told himself that he was a warrior and he's a champion and that's the same attitude and mindset you have to have in your goals and in your dreams when somebody's trying to break you down stop you from being great you got all these obstacles in your way you have every reason to give up that's the time you can't give up that's the time that you got to push harder and you have to believe in yourself even when nobody believes in you you have to so that's how I feel about the documentary I don't want to give it away I want you guys to watch it yourself and really try to get something out of it I have so much respect for him so much people get money and act like they can't relate They do it all the time. They really can relate, but they act like they can't. And he did not do that. He was trying to help. And educate us. And can't do nothing but respect it. Mm. Yeah, this is really, really good. So delicious. My heart just goes out to anybody who's been wrongfully convicted, sentenced to jail time, and they didn't even do it. They're innocent. It's sad. It's very, very sad. He said he going to commit his life. To prison reform and you gotta respect it you gotta respect it it was so many crooked cops oh my god they would do these drug raids these fake drug raids and rob the people that they did the drug raid on uh, excuse me take their money take everything and pocket it. Oh, that's a big one. That's a big crawfish. Mmm. I can't wait to finish the rest of it. I was up 
till two in the morning watching the documentary. I was just so addicted to it. Like I just didn't want to stop. I didn't want to stop watching it. But I'm going to be finished, you guys. I'm done. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I'll see you guys tomorrow for another video. Bye. I hope you guys check out Meek Mill, Freak Meek Mill. And I love you guys so much. And I'll see you guys tomorrow for another video. Bye. Mwah.